James here, and today we're taking a look at the Gyojo Thermal Imaging Camera. Now, this is actually going to be cool for testing on a lot of stuff. Uh, guys, it comes in here in this case. You're going to get a USB-C to USB charging cable. Actually, USB to micro USB charging cable. This is also going to be your data cable to transfer your videos off of the device to your PC as well. It's going to come with the user manual. I do recommend having the user manual, keeping the user manual around because it's going to teach you how many settings there are. It also comes with a strap. The strap is meant for the carrying case. It also comes with a power brick to charge it off of the wall with that, guys. Then you get, of course, the case itself right here. Now, inside this case, you do have a belt clip. So if you want to clip it to your belt, you can clip it that way or add the straps to the side and hang it around you. Inside here is a Velcro piece and it's going to pop open. Now, this is, of course, a nice zipper design all the way around. Now, the zippers don't come open. It's just pretty much there for looks. Here is, of course, the device. Now, the device does have a nice large screen back here. Uh, so you do have a nice three inch screen, of course, and power button, uh, menu buttons and select buttons and enter buttons, of course, with this on the front. You have your lens. They have a lens guard that's actually going to help it. You'll power it on. And literally, once you power it on, it's going to come on. Now, there is, of course, a 2000 milliamp power bank in here or 2000 milliamp battery inside here that's going to give you about five hours of runtime continuous runtime which is actually kind of cool now this will actually read temperatures ranging from four degrees fahrenheit all the way up to 1022 degrees fahrenheit uh it will also do minus 20 celsius all the way up to 550 celsius with this uh so you do have that of course now it is on and you guys can kind of see the imaging uh if i look straight at me you guys should see how red i get and if I bring it closer, you guys should be able to see temperatures and temperature ranges with that. And that's actually kind of cool that it does that with this. Now, there's a button here. This button, if I click that button once, it's going to allow you to take a picture. And if I just click no, of course, it's going to not store it. Now, if I hold it down, it's going to ask me if I want to record a video. And you can record a video. Now, the cool part about this is this is going to be good for, like, power testing your PCs or electronics. It's also going to allow you to do, like, let's say, crack inspection. Maybe you want to inspect a crack on a wall, maybe your concrete, or even on an engine block or something. This should temperature and show that crack settings or cracks in the actual wall where the temperature is being released or changing. It'll also do what's called water pipe leak detection and, of course, thermal imaging for on your, like, your manifolds on your cars as well. It does have a lion hole uh, a lie, uh, low and high uh, temperature uh, spots, uh, which is actually kind of cool with that as well. Now, with it, of course, you have the maximum temperature point, lowest temperature point, and then you can do center point. It has five image modes. It's got rainbow, iron red, cold, white hot, or black hot. You just go into your menu settings, of course, with that if you guys want. You'll click it over here, come down, of course, to the image settings. You click over, and of course, we have images in here. Uh, but if we go up here to image registration, we can do image registration, videos. Uh, if we want to see videos that we've done, color palettes. And that's where you're going to see your spectra, iron, cool, white, or black. And I like the spectra, so we're going to leave it there for now. Of course, immersivity is going to do semi-matte, semi-gloss, uh, custom images. Of course, in the settings, it's going to allow me to do auto shutdown. Uh, it's going to allow me to do intensity language, uh, your units, so your Celsius or Fahrenheit. I have mine in Celsius, of course, temperature range and time format and set time, and of course, spot view and vision. Now, spot view and vision is actually kind of cool. Um, that's going to allow us to adjust the spot on and off if we want with that. Or if we want to do vision, of course, we can arrange the viewing of that actual vision. That simple, that easy with that. Now, this is really, really cool. I've been playing with it. We're going to do some more stuff with it, but if you guys need the thermal imager, Right here, Goyocho's got you covered with this one. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great one.